All right, now y'all know I like to rip shit from the comments, especially where it applies to the subject matter that we kicking it about, you feel me? And this is from Mr. Warbucks. Now, I done ripped his shit from the comments before and kicked it with y'all about it. And this is a nigga I believe to know what the fuck he is talking about, you feel me? Now, am I telling y'all that he is speaking the gospel? I can't do that. But I'm telling y'all, this nigga be knowing what the fuck he talking about, you feel me? Now, he started his statement off every day. My nigga, that nigga say every day. You know, he every day with it too. But he started the statement off like every day. Alpo was cool with him in VA Beach, 1989. I've been said Demencio is the reason he died. They had a heated discussion over the phone, but then they met face to face and things were supposed to have been squashed. But Demencio should have never went to shake his hand. A head nod should have been enough. Poe sent the money and flowers because he was trying to make it seem like Lou had set it up because him and Lou had a conversation prior to that day. God damn, man. Let's ride. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him. Bitch, I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule. Right at 3 o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found what up though? Welcome back to Up For Debate TV, my baby. Let's keep the debate going, my dog. Now y'all heard that in the beginning, right? That's my man's Mr. Warbucks. Like I said, he be knowing what the fuck he talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can't tell you he's speaking the gospel, but I can tell you he was in the thick of things and he be knowing what the fuck he talking about. Like, what how y'all feel about that, man? You know what I'm saying? He says that Alpo and Demisio had a face-to-face -face meeting after the fact, after the conversation on the phone, what every day, you know me, nigga. I get my every day on, dog. You feel me, doc? What you think about that shit? You think they had a conversation? And if they did, excuse me. <coughs> Every day, man. And if they did, so the fuck what? I keep telling y'all niggas, man. Nah, I said it best. They never know we enemies until they hear me say it to their sons on the phone saying, please, daddy, pay. You know what I'm saying? Real 100 shit, man. I don't give a fuck what I said to the nigga. I don't give a fuck we shook hands, smiled, and had a burger. I'm still gonna kill that nigga. What baby boy say? You want me to pay you off the shit that we just took? The package we just took, I just had to shoot out to the... Fuck it, it didn't matter. I was going to kill him anyway. But he let them niggas leave, did he? It didn't matter. I was going to kill him anyway. You feel me? That's how Pope probably felt like baby boy. It don't matter. I'm going to kill him anyway. You know what I'm saying? Real 100 shit. Now, let me ask you this. Aside from Mr. Warbucks here, I wonder who else can verify this face-to-face -face meeting that Pope and, um... That Poe and uh, Demisio had, you feel me? I'm gonna have to check with the big homie. You know what I'm saying? Because I talked to the big homie, but I ain't talked to him about this shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to check that out. You feel me? Nah. He also says that Poe sent the money and flowers. Um, no, he said it was cool in 89 in Virginia Beach. Now, I don't know how long that was before Demisio got his top popped off. You feel me? But. At the same time, shit, I guess they had some sort of relationship is what my man is trying to say. Now, he said Poe sent the flower and the money to make it seem as if Lou Hobbs had set up the hit. And he had nothing to do with it. Because him and Lou had had a conversation prior to that day. Now, who can verify him and Lou having a conversation prior to that day? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Warbucks. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck you are and how exactly close you were. To this situation, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just bullshit. I'm just bullshit. But who can't verify that? You know what I'm saying? Who would know that Pope and, and Lou Hobbs had a conversation prior to Domencio getting killed? And I wonder how prior to his death was it? Was it the day before? Was it a week before? Was it three hours before? Because all that will play a part in the decision making and whether or not Lou Hobbs set him up. Because Bourne say... Lou didn't set him up. But, 
Man, that shit look funny as hell, man. I'm explain. That shit do look funny. You feel me? I, dog, I can't. And now you saying that Poe had a meeting with Lou Hobbs before Demencio Top popped off. That shit make it look even funnier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't even front. That shit make this shit look even funny. And I dig this here, man. Um, the nigga born says, when Demencio called Lou, Lou came and got him, and Lou came and got him. That's why people was trying to say he set him up. But Lou ain't set him up, man. Lou did not set him up. He said, see, Lou didn't know what was going on with Demencio and Alpo. They was coming to get me. Your dad and Lou was coming to get me. When that shit happened, Lou came and picked me up and told me to go around to the park, take the bike around to the park. He directed me to the park, and I wouldn't see Demencio's sneakers. He was stretched out, but I could still see his feet. Now, that's what the nigga Warren says. You feel me? Now, I'm going to make this shit look funny just for the purpose of making this shit look funny, but it's all true indeed shit that happened. You understand what I'm talking about? Now, Mr. Warbuck said, Poe and Lou had a conversation prior to it. Cool. All right. Lou, but this is the, the only thing that, I'm, I'm going to put this in there too, the only thing that don't make it seem funny is the fact that the nigga born says that Domencio called Lou to come and get him. He ain't gonna call a nigga to take him to his own death. You know what I'm saying? But let's just say that that didn't happen. That Lou called Demencio. Now, Sean Brad says he had a hood full of hitters. Niggas gonna bust ahead if nigga fuck with him. Yeah, that's on my time. You know what I'm saying? That's on my time. So he went and got him from there, or wherever he was in his comfort zone, took him out of the comfort zone. You feel me? to go to the park. Now, I was supposed to pick up a young shooter because I do believe the nigga born, he sounded like a live wife. I don't know, I didn't check his resume. I, I'm gonna have to ask Glaze, was he a shooter shooter? You know what I'm saying? But he sounded like he was a young live nigga back in the day, you feel me? So, you neglect to pick up the young live nigga until after Demencio's death. That shit sounds shaky, baby. You go get him, take him out of his comfort zone. You're supposed to pick up a shooter, but you don't. You neglect to do that and go to the park anyway where he gets his head popped off and then you go get the shooter and tell the shooter, go around to the park and see what you see. And that go Demencio stretched out all he can see is his feet. Wow. Sound like a setup to me. You know what I'm saying? I dig this here. One thing I want to know is, how does everybody know about Demencio and Alpo's beef but Lou Hobbs. The nigga born said he didn't know what was going on. He didn't know, man. Bull shit. How the fuck everybody else know, nigga? That's some shit that make it seem funny, too. Especially if Poe had a conversation with, with Lou prior to it. He knew, nigga. He knew it was some static in the air, nigga. Cut it out. How the whole team know but Lou? So Lou wasn't on your team? Born? You know. Claude know. Jackie Rowe know. Hell, even Sean Branch knows in D.C. <laughs> you feel me? And, and that's another thing. They had a conversation. Mr. Warbucks talking about they had a conversation. This shit was supposed to be squashed. Well, evidently it wasn't squashed with Demencio either. Being this how Sean Branch was in D.C. when that shit took place. And Demencio carried that beef with Poe to D.C. to let them, to let uh, Branch them know don't fuck with him. That nigga da 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 Why would he do that if he wasn't still feeling some type of way? You feel me? You feel me, my dog? Now, they never put hands on each other, but I heard Demencio used to whoop Lou Hobbs' ass. Real 100 shit. I ain't just shouting shit out. I heard Demencio used to whoop Lou Hobbs' ass. He did it a couple times. You know what I'm saying? A, a grown man, a man, let me say this to y'all. A man ain't gonna forget an ass whooping. I remember every fight I lost. But I done forgot some of the one I done won. I done forgot some of the wins. You know what I'm saying? But I remember every fight that I lost to every nigga that I lost to. Or niggas. On some real 100 shit. A man don't forget no ass whooping, man. Especially if it's the same nigga kicking on his ass more than once. <laughs> you gonna feel some type of way about that, don't you think? You know what I'm saying? When I dig this here, dog. Damn, my shit, boy. It always go out, man. I would say I talk too much, but this is a talk show, nigga.
You know what I'm saying? What the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, man? You know what I mean? Every day, man. Shit. Now, I dig this here, man. Uh, that just seems like bullshit to me. Like I said, how the fuck he don't know? He the only one that don't know it was a beef with Poe. Goddamn, the Missy O Mama likely knew it was a beef. He called the Missy O Mama house and shit, but Missy O popped up like that. Every fucking body knew about this confrontation. But Lou, okay. Um, I asked the big homie. Because shit, I, like I said, I, t I spoke to him briefly after the motherfucking documentary dropped about shit that was in it and shit to get his opinion and this and that and other blase plea. And I said, man, they putting that shit on Lou. Motherfuckers are saying Lou Hobbs, he was working with Lou Hobbs, y'all was a team, man. He set the Missio up. He said, oh, they said that? <laughs> I said, yeah, man, they said that. He said, man, Lou had nothing to do with it. So, I, hey, shit. I dig this here, man. That could be a fucking lie. Then let me tell y'all something. Y'all motherfuckers be thinking I take this nigga, dig, dig, Pope, and anybody else I speak to for that matter, could be telling me a bold face fucking lie. I understand that. All I could do is take a man at his word, though. You dig what I'm saying? Some of the shit I verify, but when it's coming from the horse's mouth, I don't feel like I need no verification. I'm just gonna tell you what he said. You feel me? Now, like I said, that shit could be a bold-faced lie. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you what the nigga said. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? He said Lou had shit to do with it, nothing. I said he had nothing to do with it. Why you let that nigga live, man? He said somebody had to tell a story. Now, that's a dangerous move in my mind. Shit, he could have ran straight to the fucking police station. You know what I'm saying? He could have ran straight back to the family. You feel me? And told this nigga, Poe just popped this nigga top off at the motherfucking basketball court. You know what I'm saying? Evidently, like the young dog from D.C. said, somebody knew something. Somebody knew somebody crew was soft as cool with, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the young guy from D.C. Or whatnot. But yeah, yeah. Somebody knew somebody crew was soft as shit. Or something, you feel me? At least the crew where they was at. And wasn't going to do shit about this hit. You feel me? Somebody had to live to tell a story. That's some old Joker Batman shit, man. This nigga Alpo was really out there, shit. <laughs> that nigga was really out there with no fear of repercussion from shit, man. And then did, did this too. Who said it? Jeannie Dale. Somebody said, shout out to B West, man. Shout out to the real Harlem money. Um, shout out to JT the Barber. Shout out to, you know, y'all know who y'all is, man. Shout out to my people, man. Somebody put in my inbox or somebody put in the comments where, um, somebody said that Poe went back to Brooklyn to shoot dice. After the, after the Demencio shit, motherfuckers talking about Poe ain't coming to Brooklyn. Poe went da 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 you know what I'm saying? He was, he was at that motherfucker shooting dice after the Demencio got killed, man. Now, I can't verify that. I'm going to try to. You feel me? Next time I speak to the big homie, I got a lot of questions for him. But that ain't just a nigga that you pick up the phone and call, man. Y'all motherfuckers think I just call Glaze? Just, just call out? You don't do that. You wait for the motherfuckers to ring your line unless you got something real hot or you trying to... Dog. Who does that, nigga? Ozone O. Up for Debate TV. And you already know who it is, my baby. When you see what you see, man. God bless the rear.